which trigger is the best trigger for the Hellcat Pro? Tyrant CNC, Apex Tactical. Let's talk about it. It's the Apex, no questions asked. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I couldn't do a video just like that. That's <laughs> let's roll the real video. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And now let's start the video where we review and compare the Tyrant CNC ITTS trigger and the Apex Tactical Trigger for the Hellcat Pro or Hellcat platform, they fit both. Uh, up front, this video is all my opinion, my experience. You might have a different perspective and opinion, different hand size, different needs, different preferences. So this is a complete opinion-based video, but I will tell you both are very good quality. Both companies are great and you really can't go wrong with either, but I'm gonna share with you my experience with both the Tyra and the Apex, show some video up close and personal on the gun, and then explain to you why I went with which one and, and what I think works best for me. So let's jump into it. So just some quick comparative analysis. Uh, both can be found at Brownells, and they're both about the same price. So just throw out the price comparison. They're very similar in price, so no concerns there. Uh, the Tyrant tends to go out of stock a lot more because Tyrant's pretty new to Brownells as of the filming of this video. Um, the Apex is pretty readily available, so there is that. But they can both be found at their respective websites, so go to Tyrant's website or uh, Apex Tactical, and I'll have links in the description below where you can go to find them individually if you want to go there directly. But if you go to brownells.com and use code BOP10, you can save some money at checkout on these triggers. So uh, let's talk about uh, what they have in common first. So both triggers uh, have a similar shoe design with a flat face and a slight curve at the end. Uh, at the end of the trigger here, they have a similar design. They both have safeties. So you got a safety on the apex right here and a safety on the tire right here. So there's nothing making one better than the other in that way as well. Uh, the main difference is just kind of on the aesthetic and on some of the dimensions. I'll show you up close in some of the footage I'm going to add on here with me at the workbench. Um, the Tyrant safety uh, bar is thinner. Your finger engagement on it is not as much as required, but it also feels at some times a bit sharp. While it is rounded and smoothed out, it is thinner. The Apex is uh, wider, beefier. You can interact with it and engage with it a lot easier depending on the size of your hand and where you prefer, how far, and how much of the um, trigger you want to engage with your, the pad of your finger. So this one, I get more contact points um, and I don't have, so because it's a little bit thicker, it also doesn't feel as thin and sharp. So just some contrast there. Uh, another big difference between the two of these is installation. So uh, Tyrant does uh, the installation with uh, Allen key screws. So you would punch out your factory uh, Hellcat trigger pin, and then you'd line this up and then use an Allen key and just thread it on. So a really easy install. The Apex um, uses the same install as you would with a factory trigger, which is with a push pin. So I've kind of got it here so you can see there's a push pin there. You have to line it up. They recommend using a vise so that you can so you don't tap it in or bend anything or break anything with the safety springs. Um, it's a little bit more fine tuning to get it in place, but it's also more of a permanent solution. I think, you know, depending on if you want to change triggers out or not, you may not want to go with this one um, because it's the more permanent solution. So uh, I tried the, the Tyrant first, then I tried the Apex. That way, if I need to go back, I can always go back one more time. Um, so that's installation is a little bit different. Um, they still line up the same though in the gun and you'll see in the video in a little bit, they do the same thing. And the last thing that's different with these two triggers is the reset. While the range on the reset of where the trigger 
and I'll, I'll kind of show you on this one here. The trigger resets in the same position. There's no difference in the take up and the actual wall where the trigger breaks and fires the round and the reset. As far as the geometry, they're pretty much the same. The main difference is the Tyrant has, um, what they what they mentioned on their website is added some, some retention or some spring to the reset. So when the gun pulls, when you pull the trigger, when you let your finger off to let the trigger reset, you get a little bit more force behind it. So it's a bit more um, springy and, I'll, and you'll see in the video here what I'm talking about. All right, so we got the apex trigger here installed first and we've got the blue tape on the trigger guard so we can mark the settings on where it sits at rest, the take up and the wall. So you see here, that's the take up, that's the break, not too bad. We're gonna reset it here release it slowly find that wall to reset right there and break all right so we went ahead and did our marking so just going to show you guys again where the trigger takes up and the break so just to show you that these lines are what we have represented here that's the break and now we're going to do the tyrant trigger so this is the Tyrant ITTS trigger you see the markings line up with the apex so the take up the reset it's all the same, including the brake. The main thing you can see is if you look at the brake, that safety sticks out a little bit further than I like, but the reset's really good. I mean, it, it's got a firm reset. You can definitely see it on camera. The reset is very firm. So here you can see up close how the trigger engages, how springy it is. That reset's really, really springy. But the brake, break is really really good so also a good trigger option from my experience with triggers like this i'm used to glocks more than anything i'm not used to a lot of spring kick in the back my only other experience is with um uh, gamage uh, has a cz p10c and that has a forcible reset on the trigger um, i'm used to glocks where they sit back my mmp um, resets but not as firm so uh, that was the main difference that this one has increased a uh, spring weight to the actual reset. Um, not something I'm into. I, I really don't enjoy that. So just something to think about if you're looking into increasing um, the reset of this, the trigger uh, from stock, then this would be one you want to consider. The Apex doesn't have any of that uh, reset um, additional spring weight. It feels like a standard Apex trigger you'd get for a Glock or most striker fire guns with the exception of like your MMP, um, which I think is the best trigger by the way for the MMP is the slim apex one, the flat one. Um, but this one feels standard, it feels good. Um, I really enjoy shooting it. So while I did make the joke in the beginning of the video, my choice for trigger as of right now for the Hellcat Pro is the apex tactical. Uh, again, the rundown of why I prefer this trigger, both are great. But why I prefer this one is I have more contact point on the actual safety. It feels a little more sturdier um, because of how thick the safety actually is. Um, I don't have that forced reset tension, and it's a familiar, it's a familiar trigger to me. It's something that I'm confident in, and I know I'll be able to perform with it really well. Uh, I'm interested in some other triggers that are out there, but I because I mentioned how you install this, I'll have to get a new trigger bar and test those out independently because I don't want to bang this one out and ruin it. So for the time being, my trigger of choice is the Apex Tactical. Again, you can go to Brownells, pick up this trigger, use BOP10, or go to Apex Tactical's website. Also, you can pick up the Tyrant as well, also a good option. Um, another difference I didn't mention earlier is that color option. So if you're looking to match your gun up or have certain color schemes, Tyrant has more options. They just tend to do that. Apex has a few, this platform not as much, um, it's not really common, but uh, if you're looking for just a no frills trigger that, you know, feels good in hand, feels really solid to engage with, I highly recommend the Apex uh, to be considered. Uh, the only way you're going to improve the trigger is with some other internal stuff, which I'm looking into with other companies as well. Um, and more videos on that in the future. That concludes this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it, especially the little uh, switcheroo at the beginning. But if you like videos like this, let me know by hitting the thumbs up. It really helps me know if I'm doing a good job and what kind of content you want to see. 
If you want to see more videos from me, I post every week, typically on Mondays. Consider subscribing. The channel is growing, it seems like, every day. We're over 2,100, and that's just amazing. It's just growing fast, and I really appreciate you all's support with me and the channel. If you have any comments in the comment section below about this build, or if you have any feedback, your experience with this trigger or with the, uh, the Tyrant, let me know. Or if you have another trigger you think I should be considering, put in the comment section down below. I'll take a look at it. I might reach out to you and talk about it um, and get your feedback on your experience as well. Again, thank you all for watching this week, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. That's how you know the video is officially over is when I do this, not that thing earlier. Not my style. I'll see you guys later. Peace.